It's Fetish Friday, which means it is time for the next episode of Diaper Diaries. This is episode three, featuring Mark and Doug. For anyone concerned, this is not a sexual experience. This is the latest original short story by Mommy Lisa. Please like and subscribe. Links to my eBay store and to buy me a coffee are in the description. Thank you for your support. Mark loved spending time outdoors, especially fishing. He found that it was a great way to clear his mind and relax. But he also loved wearing diapers. And he often found that it was difficult to balance his love for the outdoors with his desire to wear them. One day, while planning a fishing trip with his best friend Doug, Mark decided to share his secret with him. He told Doug about his love for diapers and how they made him feel happy, free, and comfortable. To his surprise, Doug was very understanding and supportive. In fact, Doug was even a little curious to try wearing one himself. So Mark showed him how to put the diaper on and let him have one of his. As they sat together fishing, Mark and Doug both wore their diapers, feeling comfortable and happy. When Doug had the urge to pee, Mark told him to just go in the diaper. That way he wouldn't have to disturb his pole and make unnecessary noise and risk scaring the fish away. Doug relaxed and tried to let it flow. It seemed quite strange to him, and he was having a hard time getting started. Doug closed his eyes and imagined himself in a bathroom. Soon the pee began to flow naturally. It was very liberating and such a satisfying relief. Doug also realized he liked the sensation of having the warm wetness against him. He never thought he would enjoy this, so a new experience had been opened up for him. Doug then told Mark that he did not feel like a child or want to be viewed as babyish. Mark explained to Doug that for him, wearing a diaper was not about being a baby or regressing, but it was about finding comfort and security in a way that worked for him. Mark also emphasized to Doug the importance of being true to oneself and not letting society's expectations dictate one's happiness. He also told Doug that diaper lovers have different agendas and feelings about why they want to wear diapers. Everyone does not have to have the same reasons. Mark also informed Doug that there is a large community of diaper wearers that he can introduce him to so that he feels more comfortable being around others that wear diapers. That way he doesn't feel alone in his desires. As they continued fishing and talking, Doug began to understand and even appreciate Mark's love for diapers. He even admitted that he felt more relaxed and at ease while wearing the diaper. From then on, Mark and Doug would wear their diapers during their fishing trips. They enjoyed the camaraderie and the joy of being able to share their love for diapers with each other. After this, they knew they could share anything together. As they sat together enjoying the beauty of nature together, they knew they had a rare, true, and understanding friendship that would last a lifetime. The End I hope you enjoyed this episode of Diaper Diaries. If you would like to see this relationship blossom, their story will continue in the playlist Same Sex Saturdays Nookie Notes. Sweet dreams. Don't worry if they're wet dreams. You have